All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven. seven. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. Okay. I'm at the I'm at the home stretch. The fast and furious. I have three left. I've done twenty one, and I just felt like I wanted to time it. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I've got everything down to a science, so I kind of already know how how to cut them. But I figure if I have to do this, I'm not doing this by myself. I'll make everybody watch. So uh, let's see. Let's keep our eyes on the prize for the time, and uh, I'll make this informative at the same time. I'll be like the the half black male Martha Stewart, um, minus the money. Well, I'm nothing like Martha Stewart. Anyhow, so checking the time, and let's see. Let's go. Okay. So I'm starting with three. Call them three. White stock. Stock is a pretty inexpensive flower. Holy Moses. Um, looks like larkspur. Looks like a short version of a snapdragon. Rip the leaves off. Always rip the leaves off. Even if somebody gives you fresh flowers to take home, rip the leaves off if you're going to put it in water because the, the leaves are where the disease is and that's what makes your flowers die. And if you did not know that, um, I don't know. It's, you learn something new every day. These are called spray roses. I got them in a white and in a pink, pinky peach color. Um, these are called majolicas. I don't know what that means in Spanish, if it is Spanish. Um, not that it matters. These are the pink ones, which some people will call these antique spray roses, and probably just because they look old, they're not antiques. Nothing about them is antique. Um, and I bought them currently, so they can't be antiques. Um, then I have two blush carnations, which I hate carnations and think they are the ugliest flower in the world, but these are soft carnations, which have a more of a peony or a, um, I don't know, more like a, more like a garden rose kind of look, so they're a lot softer. And then speaking of roses, these in this peach color here, since they are the quintessential wedding flower, ow, and they have thorns on them, Mother Teresa, um, they should be the tallest, and uh, it's kind of at the tippity top of the vase. This is just a mason jar, we're putting them in, something really fresh. This is from a bush in my backyard that I just love, and you would need it a good pruning back, and if one kind of goes sideways, then this would be the one we put straight up and down. And that's how I do it. And now check my time, because I think I did pretty dang good. I did. Perfect.